Hey and welcome back to another one nerds. We are going to be taking a look at daily events today and I'm going to break this down into three separate parts. Step one is going to be displaying the time. So that'll be the time of the day and we can also use that to get the time left until our next event. Step two will be adding variables to track whether or not we've accepted our event and to verify that the next day has arrived. And step three will be the coding behind making sure that users can only click once a day and that it resets on a new day. So let's get started. We'll be starting our scene off with a few different images. We'll have a chest with some particles behind it, a text box, and a few different sprite objects. Essentially, it is a completely empty scene. We have no coding yet. And we're going to start off by adding some background color just so it's not that light gray and it's a little easier to see. And then from there, we're going to turn this time of day text object from displaying the word text into displaying the actual time of day. And we're going to want this to happen every tick. So we're not going to have a condition and we're going to go into time of day object, modify the text, and we're going to set it to first. We're going to want to set it for the hour. And this is a built in function. So we just use capital time and then put hour in quotes. And this is going to give you a red underline. So you're going to need to cast this to a string since our text expects a string, not a number. So we're going to put two string and encapsulate the whole thing in two parentheses. And then I'm going to add a plus and then we're going to force in a colon here and then we're going to add the minutes and of course another colon and then the seconds. And with that one action, we now display the current time for the user. Next up, we're going to want to create a way to show how much time is left. So I'm going to duplicate the time of day text object. And I'll drag that onto my scene. And I'm going to edit some of the properties. I'll make it red so it seems more punitive and make it a little larger. And in the end, the goal is to have this pop up whenever they have already used their event and are waiting on the new one. And to make this happen, we're going to go into the code and we're going to do the same thing where we're setting it to. And this time we are going to subtract from the maximum amount that each different time expression can have. And we want to subtract how many currently have happened. So there's 24 hours in a day and then 60 minutes and then 60 seconds. But since we're counting down, we need to make sure we remember to borrow from the larger numbers. So technically we're going to want to set the hours to 23 and the minutes to 59. And with that, step one is a success. Now that we have our timers, we're going to need a way to track the last time we clicked on the event, as well as whether or not the event is ready. So from our scene, we're going to right click and enter our scene properties and edit our scene variables. And this is going to allow us to add scene variables. And we're going to have three in our project, one for the last event year. And this will be the year in which the event was last accepted. Then we'll have a last event day, and this will be the day of the year. And that's one through 365. So we don't need the months in there and then event ready. And this will just track whether or not the event is ready for us or not. And that's all we need for our variables. Alrighty, first we're going to want to hide the time until tomorrow. Since we start off with our event being ready, we only want this to show up if we are waiting until we can click the event again. Next, we need to have an on click event for accepting our daily event. So mixing both our cursor is over object plus left button release. We can check to see if the cursor clicks on our object. In addition, we only want this to work if our Boolean event ready is set to true. And if all three of these conditions are met, we will set our two scene variables, last event year and day to time year and time Y day. And Y day is short for day of the year, which is going to give us one through 365. In a new event, we'll check if our variables are greater than or equal to the current time of year in Y day. And if they are, we want to stop the particle showing that the event is ready to be clicked and set event ready to false. This will now be false until the time of year and Y day overtake our stored values, specifically the start of the next day. Next, we're going to want to create a way to force our event ready back to true. And this is going to be in two different events. First, if our last event year is less than current year, 
then we don't need to worry about the day and this means our event ready is ready to go back to true. And the second part is if the year is the same as our current year, this means it matters what our day is. And if our day of our last event clicked is earlier than the current day, then this is ready to go back to true. So both these conditions will set us back to true, meaning we are ready again for our user to collect their new daily. Our next condition is a simple check to see if our event is false. And while it's false, we're going to want the time till tomorrow object to show the countdown. The final event will check if our event ready is true. If it is, we will create our particle objects. And our magic to particle object needs to be behind our treasure chest object, which we can solve by using Z order. And additionally for this event, we only want to trigger at one time. Otherwise, we're going to create endless particle objects. And to finish up, we're going to move our time till tomorrow text object into this last event we just made. And this can happen every day now as well. And switching back to our scene, we're going to delete our particles. We've now coded them into our event sheet, so we don't want them hard coded into our scene. And there we have it. That's all we need for a daily event. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.